our tabulating equipment does not um, calculate more than one election at a time. So you can see that we've been working 24 hours a day for several days and we might, it'll take us a couple of more days to run the election day ballots through. Uh, we were very successful with the early voting and now we're almost completing the vote by mail ones, but we still have uh, 250,000 election day ballots to run through our tabulator machines. And so that'll take us the next day and a half or so. And we're giving it our best faith effort and we're hopeful that we get there. And what changed, sorry, what changed as far as um, being able to now meet this deadline? Was it the machines are processing faster than expected or? No, we have a really hard working team of individuals that are being lent to us from the IT department at Palm Beach County and it allows us to run 24 seven. So this operation never stops. We've been doing this for 24 hours a day since the recount was called. Now what about the ballots that were in question from court order yesterday about you guys making a deadline? We're looking yeah. at 9,000, 10,000 of them. We've been giving our very best faith effort. You see us in the canvassing room. We're reviewing those ballots with the public and we've been very successful. Um, you know, if we worked uh, consistently, which is impossible, it's uh, about 15, 20 hour process. And you certainly can't do a tedious job like that and be accurate for 15 or 20 hours. But you see, we go into canvas those ballots uh, for hours and hours into the late night. Um, I think that, you know, my canvassing board members are going to do that until uh, 11, 12, 1 o'clock this morning. Um, we haven't had a lot of, of rest, but we're willing to comply with the judge's order. We're giving it our very best faith effort to do it as quickly as possible. And I think the public is very pleased because they're right there with us, watching us call out the names of the duplicates, and uh, we're complying as quickly as we can. And I know a lot of people have come up asking us as far as, you know, when you vote on election day, the machine tabulates all of them. And um, why isn't it, is it just the machines aren't capable of reading at all and then like, cherry picking, I guess, the four races in question out to tabulate. We can't do all of those at the same time. Our equipment is not uh, certified to do that. We, it is certified by the Secretary of State. They've always been aware and somehow the equipment has been certified without the ability to meet the intent of state law. And so I think that's just not fair. And I think what we're going to find is after, you know, calling three re statewide recounts and a state house race recount and, you know, not being able to meet that we're going to see some legislation that's going to address this, but what's going to be better than that is that I have requested and I've received funding to purchase updated equipment that operates in a different manner. And so the counties that are successful are operating with that equipment, and I think that'll go a long way for our future. I think we're always going to have close elections. We never anticipated. We were afraid of having one, maybe two. We have four. And so we're working as hard as we can. I have not been home for days. Right. Did you get that funding after all of this, or did you receive that funding before this election? No, we received that funding before this election, but obviously couldn't move over to that equipment. We have a slight little change in the legislation in order to be able to comply with state law with that equipment, and we anticipate trying to move forward with that language uh, during the legislative session that begins in March. And you mentioned yesterday that you have been after the state secretary for 10 years. That's correct. About getting machine. What did that look like? What do you mean you've been after them? Have you been writing, talking? What did you want to happen? I have been trying to change legislation and convince the secretary that the time frames that are established in law are so tight and they were established when we did not have this kind of population. And so we really have some archaic laws that we need to work on. And so I sit on the legislative committee for the supervisors of elections. I continue to harp the supervisor uh, that's in charge charge of our association and we've made that our number one priority. And then also, God forbid, one of these eight machines breaks down. Are there backups or would it then be down to seven or however many? Well, we just had these machines serviced. We flew in the uh, technicians. They replaced a motor. They're operating at their optimum right now. We asked the vendor if we could get, we would fly equipment in from anywhere in the United States and they do not have any other equipment. This is old equipment. They don't make it anymore. Nobody has spares. And so we're doing the very best we can. What happens if you don't make that line? Well, what happens is that they would take the election results that we uploaded yesterday and those would be our final results. Um, how's it looking right now? How's
Right now it's looking promising. You know, we have to send all of our ballots through and find our over and under votes, and it's looking fairly promising. We finished early voting. We're working on vote by mail. Uh, we're in substantially completed with that. We started before the call of the uh, recounts, separating our ballots for, to find the front page ballot that contains the candidates and disregarding the page that contains the ballot questions. We don't need to run those. Those are extra time. So we have completed the separation process of all of our ballots, card A, card B. We need to read card A, and so that'll make it go a little faster. But I have to say it's the heroic efforts of the people you see behind me. Uh, we have a 24-hour shift, and I couldn't do it without Palm Beach County. Are you I know disappointed that you have to go through this? I mean, because right now, all hands are pointing at you. Well, you know what? It is my job to be able to do our very best. I have not been home. I, we're, my staff has been here. We have worked as hard as we know how. It is our responsibility to get it done, and we will do everything in our power to make that happen. And I know right now you are focused on getting it done, but looking back, is there anything that you all could have done or put in place to prevent something like this from happening? Well, obviously, you know, we have only two certified companies, and, you know, the goal is to update our equipment with the other company that uh, has a little bit better uh, way to do recounts, but nobody could have anticipated this. And you know what? It's, it, it, frankly, it is just irresponsible of the state of Florida to certify equipment that does not meet the intent of the law. And I know some people are saying, you know, other counties aren't having these problems. There's just two counties right now in the state of the Florida that somehow can't get it together as they call it or say. Um, what is your response to that? My response is that this is one of the smoothest recounts in the state of Florida. We are extremely organized. We've been working 24-7. I have a Alpha team and a Bravo team. That means AM and PM. We have been here 24-7. Um, I haven't seen my house for a couple of days and I hope to get a couple of hours of sleep but in the last uh, three days I have had none. My staff is in that situation. We're operating our optimum level. We are extremely organized. You can see the process here. The public is able to participate. Everybody is pleased with the smooth operation that we're operating and we will get this done to the very greatest extent possible. And I have one more question. I know on election night um, when you were watching county by county, Palm Beach County and Broward County were slow to report the percentages. Um, at what point did you realize there might be an issue and we might be here in this room today? We, we, you know, as all the supervisors in every state, wish for a very large spread of election results. We really don't watch to see what candidates are winning or losing. We really are looking for a widespread of margin of, of uh, returns. And that just didn't happen in the state of Florida. I think we're going to see these kinds of circumstances in the future. And so, you know, the laws are very archaic. We have grown by 320,000 voters since the last midterms. We had historic voter turnout. I'm very pleased that everybody was so interested in these elections, but we really need to ramp up our laws to uh, really mirror the population that we have here in Palm Beach County. And I'm willing to fight about it with the state, with the legislature, with the secretary, uh, because these are my constituents. These are my voters, and I think that they deserve better.